Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look to answer the question of what is backset and how is it determined. So backset is defined as the distance from the edge of the door to the center of something. Generally a hole is what it would be, but backset could also be used to define the dimension from the edge of the door to where you want a certain preparation to be. Um, if you're doing a lock prep and it has a two and a half inch back set or a two and three quarter inch back set or a five inch back set or three and three quarter, um, it's from the edge of the door to the center of that hole. If you had, let's say, a Dutch door and you were securing the top leaf to the bottom leaf using a common Dutch door bolt, the factory uh, would like to know the information. What back set will you be installing the bolt at so that we can add proper reinforcement? So back set can be used in that uh, uh, instance as well. Now there are indeed lots of back set dimensions. If you're dealing with aluminum storefront, you could have a back set of 31 30 second or one inch or inch and an eighth, inch and a half. If you're dealing with lock sets, mortise locks, you can have back sets of inch and a half or two inch or two and a half inch, two and three quarter. Uh, larger back sets are certainly possible. Cylindrical locks most commonly are two and three eighths or two and three quarter, but you can certainly have three and three quarter, five inch. You can have uh, greater dimensions than that. Uh, you could have uh, unusual back sets where you can get out to 18 inch where you've got a knob in the center of the door. Um, you can have push-pull hardware that will very commonly have a three and three quarter back set. So, uh, cylindrical locks incorporate that occasionally. Tubular locks, uh, auxiliary locks are generally two and three eighths and two and three quarter. You could be dealing with a rim mounted lock that has an unusual back set that might be two and a quarter inch. Uh, so the purpose uh, of this video is to help dispel how you go about understanding what back set is because it's important. Now back set is defined again as the distance from the edge of the door to the center of the hole. But the question is what is the edge of the door? And I'll make a quick sketch here to help illustrate what it is that we're dealing with when it comes to the edge of the door. Um, I can think off the top of my head uh, maybe four types of door edge. This is a bad drawing. Okay, so we can have Okay. Square edge, beveled edge, radius edge, rabbited edge. Okay, so, sorry, my square edge kind of looks rabbited, but it's, it's definitely a square edge door. Um, edge of the door to the center of the hole. Okay, so the question becomes is where do I measure the edge of the door from? Um, because as you study these drawings, you do see that if I were to place my tape measure here and go back a distance and mark the hole, or if I place my tape measure here and go back a distance and mark the hole, my hole will be in the same place. If I use that same logic here and here, my hole is no longer in the same place. You know, radius doors, same problem, here or here. Rabbited edge, where am I, where am I taking my back set from? What, what dimension? Luckily, the industry defines that, and I can tell you that that definition has either evolved with time or has been uh, used, has been defined by particular companies differently. So the current definition is called 1 eighth in 2. 1 eighth in 2. So for every 2 inch in door thickness, I have a, I have a dis difference between here and here of 1 eighth of an inch. Okay. There is below this video, alongside here, a published catalog page from a Yale catalog uh, published in 1910. And it does show us uh, elegantly how a beveled door works um, in, the, in the sense of visualizing what a beveled door looks like. Um, and in particular, they go on to define bevel for it. And they state basically when a door is not at a 90 degree or a right angle, then you have a bevel. Okay, 
So it's helpful to understand that, and it's also helpful to see how they put the uh, corner square or your framing square onto the edge of a door, and that's listed there just for visual representation. Um, so the point is, back set is defined, edge of the door to the center of the hole. We know our bevel is 1 8 and 2 inch. Now the crucial point is, back set is actually defined from the center of the thickness to the edge of the door, uh, to the center of the hole. So I will put a dot uh, representing the center of the thickness of the door in all four of these instances. So the, the point being is now we have an understanding of where the edge of the door is as it's re uh, referenced to from the center of the door. Okay. This will then tell us, based on the door thickness, what the dimension is from here to here and what we will know it to be from here to here. Okay. If you know the radius, I suppose you can also calculate this. Uh, rabbited, you know, that's probably going to be a square edge door that simply has a rabbit uh, done in it. So that's, for all intents purposes, the same definition as this. Now, the point that makes this crucial is if you were working with a common 2 and 3 eighths or a 2 and 3 quarter back set and you put your tape measure here and went back to the center of the hole versus putting your tape measure here back to the center of the hole, your holes are going to not line up. If you were to drill part way on both sides of the door, you'll, you'll miss each other. Um, and how much you'll miss each other is dependent on the door thickness and the fact that it's 1 8 inch deviation for every 2 inch in door thickness. It's also a 3 degree bevel is what it is. 1 8 and 2 is actually 3 degree. So when you're drilling a hole for a lock, you first have to study is my door square edged or beveled or what is the treatment to the edge of the door and then position your reference mark accordingly. So what that means is if you're going to uh, measure, if you have a beveled door and it's a residential application and the door swings in, the high side is going to be on the pull side or the interior of the door and the small side will be on the push side or exterior side, meaning if you put a tape measure on the outside and recorded that size and then you went to the inside and did the same thing it's going to be a different size um, because of because of the bevel and it will almost be um, you know it will it, for all intents purposes it's going to be you know three sixteenths you know a little heavy on that different from either side so when you reference the small side if you went to two and three quarter back set you're actually too far over because you need to pull that tape measure back, not quite a sixteenth, but but almost. And if you're on the high side and you go to two and three quarter, you're going to be shy because your tape measure is too far over. So keep that in mind. Now it doesn't so much matter if you drill those holes incorrectly for a tubular lock, but cylindrical locks where they require the hole in the right place is crucial. Uh, door viewers are especially uh, unforgiving when it comes to the hole being not in the right place because the diameter of the body of the door viewer and the outside diameter of the interior ring that you'll see on a door viewer that is probably no more than a hundred and seventy thousandths of an inch so you don't have a lot of room to be off you'll you'll just barely cover the hole if you're off the point of the matter is you can take your time and install you, your project is to install a beautiful mortise lock onto your client's front door of their home and you've got all the hardware laid out and all the parts are there and you've got all your tools and you start drilling holes you've marked laid them out center punched marked all your holes and you get the mortise lock in there and say well gosh that's off I've been so careful and I've been so cautious to put my holes in the right place why is it off you may then discover that your door is beveled um, and with a mortise lock those are notoriously unforgiving when it comes to that scenario as well. So before you mark a back set, do inspect the treatment of the edge of the door first so you know where you're referencing and that will uh, give you what you need to put the hole in the proper location or your mark for the for the hole. Uh, if you have any questions on back set or how it's determined, my name is Rich Howard. Please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.